This is my laptop, and there are many, well, okay, to be fair, there's actually not that many. I don't think Asus Bamboo laptops actually sold that well, but this one is mine. And even though I haven't been using it for a while, it's been serving my parents well for about a year now. That is to say, well, not fast. Even though the Core i5 M450, 4 gigs of DDR3, and 1366 by 768 TN screen might still be suitable for browsing and word processing and other light tasks. Back in 2010, most laptops, even thin ones, unless your name was Apple, still had mechanical hard drives. So doing anything on it is painfully slow these days. But sentimental value is a thing, and this baby got me through many a video export, carrying it around campus at BCIT between classes, not even able to close the lid because my Windows install was so borked. So I'm not ready to put her down just yet. Let's operate. TunnelBear is the simple VPN app that makes it easy to browse privately and enjoy a more open internet. Try TunnelBear for free at the link below. So just in case you didn't catch that, I'm gonna install an SSD in here in order to breathe some new life into it and keep it away from the recycling heaps. If you wanna see how electronics recycling can actually be devastating to the environment, check out this TechWiki episode up here. But before we do that, let's explore what it's like to use this thing with the hard drive in it. To give it the best possible performance I could, I've reformatted the drive. This is a very fresh version of Windows 7, and we'll just try restarting it, opening up some programs, just general usability things, which is what this laptop would actually be targeted at for now, and see how it stands up. Restarting the computer took forever, from pressing the restart button to having Firefox loaded with the Linus Tech Tips homepage on it, took two minutes and 13 seconds, and then it didn't get much better from there. Foxit Reader took a very long time to show up, to the point where I was a little bit worried if it was gonna show up at all. Steam, I was actually 100% convinced wasn't working, and then had switched to try to demo something else by the time that it actually freaking loaded. Loading up any browsers took a really long time, but navigating through Windows wasn't too bad, and once you had a browser actually loaded and you were going through various websites, it did actually work pretty well because the DDR3 RAM is actually surprisingly fine. The only thing pulling this laptop down that much is the hard drive, so time to swap it out. What I'm gonna swap in is a Vertex 4 128 gig SSD from OCZ, a company that doesn't even exist anymore. I mean, it's, it's advertising Indolinks on the front. This is actually from a pretty similar era that this laptop is from, and it costs like 50 bucks off Amazon, so you can get it pretty cheap, no big deal. I'm gonna throw this in here, not the best SSD I could if I wanted to like really destroy that hard drive, and this one has been used a bunch and has a ton of clutter on it. So the hard drive had a best case scenario and the SSD has like a almost worst case scenario. Let's check it out. You like this? I actually lost the original tray that I had for um, mounting my drive in here. So I used a little mod by just wrapping up some paper and I mean, it, it actually works completely fine. That was so much better, in my opinion. It only took one minute and two seconds to go from restart button all the way to browser open with the Linus Tech Tips page playing. Opening up any program, Foxit, various browsers, Origin, because I didn't have Steam installed on there. It's not my computer anymore, don't worry about it. Um, it was easy. None of it took very long. I didn't get frustrated actually trying to figure out if a program was gonna open at all after I clicked on it. It was just there. Perfect, and that's from a very old laptop. This isn't difficult to do either. You saw me swap the SSD in for the hard drive. It was not a complicated process. And then the Bamboo even has an optical drive. So if you go to the store and try to buy one of those Windows key things that comes with the disc, you can even just do it that way, plain and simple. It's cheap at only $50, it's easy, just a hard drive swap for an SSD, not a big deal, and installing Windows. If you have trouble with that, you can check out this video up here, which is like an NCIX Tech Tips video from way back. 
Arguably, there isn't really an improvement for the browsing experience if you're going to spend most of your time in a web browser. Uh, there is an improvement getting to the browsing experience, but once you're there, it's pretty much the same for hard drive or SSD because that's RAM based. I don't really think upgrading the RAM is a huge value add here as it's already rather fast. So yeah, cheap, easy, not a big deal. Also, one thing to be careful of if you're looking to buy a laptop for this type of upgrade is that not all laptops are very user upgradable. I would try to find a teardown maybe on iFixit or some other website of someone taking the laptop apart so you can see how easy it is to access the hard drive or SSD area and possibly the RAM. Crunchyroll is a site created by anime fans for anime fans, and they offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, like ReZero or Dragon Ball Super. And they have a large collection of the most popular anime series, like Naruto and Bleach. All of the content on their site is professionally subtitled, so head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus, and you can sign up for a 30-day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium. If you enjoy the many benefits of Premium, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, game console, computer, whatever, you can continue your Premium membership for not the price of a train, but $6.95 per month. So again, head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and check them out. I would highly recommend doing it if you have an old laptop laying around, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, get subscribed, check out the links that we have below where you can buy stuff like old, uh, not very currently recommended SSDs that are really cheap, uh, <laughs> or older laptops maybe, but you might be better off on eBay or Craigslist for that, or Kijiji as we have in Canada. Anyways, also down in the description down below, you can see a place where you can buy our shirts in the how to support us section and uh, other affiliate links and whatnot that are down there. If you want to see another video, check out this video where I detail how to make a test bench for basically free. And I'll see you next time.